next solo I'm going to play is Crazy Army by Ed Limley. Now, you may have heard this solo before. Uh, Steve Gadd made this solo very famous on Legend of the One-Eyed Sailor with Chuck Mangione and uh, several other recordings I've heard him play are just in a drum solo. But uh, obviously one of his favorite rudimental solos. The rudiments that are utilized in Crazy Army, well, the, the first one I want to talk about is the flamicue, which is very evident in just the first couple lines. And this is where we're going to really need that upstroke, really quick motion to get that grace note and then the pop of the accent. And the contrast between the grace note and the accent is very important. That's what gives it some groove. There's one technical aspect of this solo I want to talk about, and that's an accented double stroke. It's going to be different approach to that accent as opposed to an accented single note or a controlled stroke. Let me play some flam taps. I'm going to accent one every now and then. Or what I like to say is I'm going to put more emphasis on one because I'm not going to slam the stick down as a controlled stroke. So when you have an accent on a double stroke, what happens, which happens several times throughout the solo, you want to take kind of a legato approach and actually think of both notes being accented, not just the first one, but let it bounce. Crazy Army was written many years later than Connecticut Halftime and Downfall of Paris. It uses a lot of the same rudiments, but it kind of shows you the evolution of the rudiments. It takes them to the upbeat more often. It's a little funkier. That's probably why Steve Gadd likes it so much. It's got a lot of accents, a lot of flamicues on the E, uh, six tuplets that start on the upbeat. You got those accented double strokes. So a few issues, technical issues, and the, uh, the use of the rudiments in different ways in Crazy Army. All right, so you can tell with the interpretation, especially with the roles and some of the accents, that there's some uh, variation in tempo, variation in accents. This is what gives these uh, solos soul and makes them groove. You don't always want to necessarily sound like a computer and have it quantized. So sometimes you need to turn the metronome off and sound human. This puts a, a human element into these solos, and I think that's very important when you're playing music. Uh, I think a lot of people get caught up in using the metronome too much, and they, eventually you start sounding like the metronome. Now, don't get me wrong, use the metronome. You gotta have good time, and you gotta know where the time is. That's very important. But you don't wanna sound like the metronome. In other words, if I put this into finale, all these accents would sound exactly the same. Well, as you can tell, they're not all exactly the same. That's part of the human element. You're now making music. 